Before I begin, I just wanted to take the time to say this is a subscriber percentage graph I found on Google that's probably from someone unsuccessful. As you can see by the bars, the geopolitical climate in Taiwan is getting slipperier, and we need to send in more tactical grandmas to help bring down the birds. Please subscribe if you haven't already, or the Kia Soul hamsters will implant a virus in your homework folder. So, you got no credits. Hey there, if you're watching this video, that means you've got a problem. You're poor. But that's okay. Not really because today I'm gonna to teach you the best way to make credits in Phantom Forces. Don't worry, you'll be able to pre-buy that M107 at level 30 in no time. Thanks to a fairly recent update, Phantom Forces has blessed us with even more ways of making money, starting with the best way, the daily challenges. These are an amazing addition to the game, enabling us to exponentially increase our daily income. You're given three challenges, each with four difficulty tiers, and one extra reward every time you complete all of a tier's challenges. Tier 1 challenges award 40 or 50 credits, Tier 2s give 75 or 80, Tier 3s give 100, and Tier 4s give 150, with each of their extra tiers giving their max amount of reward credits respectively. You can add even more if you save your challenge resets, because once you complete all your challenges, you can reset the final three so you get an extra 450 credits due to doing two sets of tier 4 challenges, meaning that in total, every 24 hours you can make around 2,150 credits from these challenges. Compounding that with the XP and potential levels you get from just playing the game during those challenges, you could very possibly pass three to 4,000 credits per day. One thing to do with your challenges to make more money is to do them intelligently. If you have a challenge for, say, hit fire kills and a challenge for carbine kills, don't get hip fire kills with the carbine. Separate them. Use a sniper for the hip fire kills or something. This will split up the kills and give you more XP because of it, and can also give you the opportunity for things like no scope XP or other small boosts to help you level and make more money while doing dailies. I know it seems dumb, but these small things can help a lot. Another solid way of gaining credits is just leveling. This is the tried and true method since the game was released, just good old slugging it out in game and making cash from other people's downfall. And now thanks to daily challenges, you can have even more reason to stay engaged in the game. A couple tricks to helping you level up faster is to always play for objectives. Depending on the game mode, you can make substantially more XP from playing the objective than roaming and getting kills. Obviously, getting no kills will still be a detriment to your XP, but playing the objective is a fantastic boost. Such as in Kill Confirmed, you can get 100 XP from tags on top of kill XP, giving you a boost or hill capture points. Simple stuff to help boost you a little. One thing that will help in your leveling and money-making progress is, if you have them, playing with friends. Playing with your friends and just having a good time will help keep you more engaged and keep your head in the right space. Having fun and not losing your focus will help keep you engaged longer, it'll help you do better, and it'll just make the grind feel less of a grind. Another money-making method that follows along with the previous two is to sell every skin you get from playing. You're bound to get some crates you can open, and when you do, sell them, no matter what they are. Phantom Forces has a system where if you equip a skin to your gun and then sell the skin, it keeps the skin on the gun. Meaning, if you really like it, then you can just equip it and sell it, and then you get the money and the skin. This also applies to melees and melee skins. Every knife you unbox will stay unlocked even after you sell it, so you won't lose it regardless of if it's in your inventory or not. This isn't going to make you rich quick, but it's a very helpful boost, especially if you get reds or knives. Probably the least known method is the player shot method. This is easily the least efficient and most unreliable method, and should only be used in conjunction with the other ways of making money. The player shop is a new feature that allows you to buy guns and blueprints easily and has potential discounts. One of the tabs has gun skins for sale, which have resale value. Checking the shop every day and checking for major discounts on gun skins has the potential to make you a small amount of profit. It just doesn't happen much at all. Phantom Forces has an equation for calculating skin prices, it being rarity squared times 250 times 500 plus key price divided by 5,000. The rarities of each skin being numbered one through five, one being common, two uncommon, three rare, four ultra rare, and five legendary or melee. I would recommend only price checking the skins in the shop with a discount tag because the others you won't make money on. So using that equation, you can see if you'll make money on the skin before you even buy it. Be warned, this method rarely yields any profit, but it's always worth checking if you're desperate to make it out of the hood. Speaking of the hood, the fourth and final method is to just steal. The fourth and final way is to just buy it. Whether you've won a Mr. Beast giveaway or stolen your mom's credit card, the most reliable method to get credits is to literally just waste real money for pixel money. I definitely wouldn't recommend this because no weapon in the game is worth spending actual money on and you never get the satisfaction you want from it, but what this lacks in morality and practicality, it does make up for in reliability because you will get exactly what you pay for every time. In conclusion, these were the best ways to make money faster in Phantom Forces. Hopefully this helps you get your money up and not your funny up because we all know you're not making the ladies laugh. You're watching a Phantom Forces YouTube video. Be honest. Come on. Please feel free to comment any ideas you want to see in the future. Until then, see ya.